It's been a long time coming, but today I get to tell you the title of my new book about overthinking and share the cover. Drum roll. The title of my new book about overthinking is Soundtracks. What's a soundtrack? It's the story you tell yourself about yourself. It's a repetitive thought about who you are, how the world works, your relationships, your career, your day. It's all of those thoughts that you hear over and over again. That's all overthinking is. It's a soundtrack. Now the problem is that a lot of times when we talk about overthinking, we say things like, stop overthinking, get out of your head, turn off your overthinking. But the solution to overthinking isn't to stop thinking. Why would we ever get rid of such a powerful, efficient tool? Wouldn't it make more sense to just run our brains with different soundtracks instead of the broken ones? What if, just what if, what if we could retire our broken soundtracks, replace them with new soundtracks, and then repeat the new ones so often they become as automatic as the old ones? If you can worry, you can wonder. If you can doubt, you can dominate. If you can spin, you can soar. That's what I'm going to teach in my new book, Soundtracks. You see, overthinking steals time, creativity, and productivity by making you listen to broken soundtracks. Do you know what happens, though, when you listen to new soundtracks? You give your dreams more time, creativity, and productivity. Not just a little, but buckets. And overthinking is the most expensive thing companies invest in every year without even realizing. Team culture is just a collection of soundtracks playing consistently at a company. Sometimes they're selected on purpose. More often than not, though, they're accidental. Now, I'm really excited about this book for three reasons. I'm a big list fan. Number one, Mike Peasley, PhD, helped me take thousands of people through a research project to develop some unique, fun tools to help you reduce overthinking. And they're simple. Have you ever read a 400-page book about overthinking with really complicated solutions? The last thing we overthinkers need is more things to overthink. Number two reason I'm excited, when we asked 10,000 people if they struggle with overthinking, 99.5% of people said yes. I think one of the most important questions you can ask before you write a nonfiction book like this is, do people need it? Will it solve a real problem? This one will. And number three, it's really funny. I know right now that I'm going to have a hard time getting through the tribute to Yanni's Live at the Acropolis album in chapter nine when I do the audiobook. That section still makes me laugh. That's what the book's about. And now I get to show you the cover. Here it is. Look at that cover. I absolutely love it. I actually have a mock-up of it. This is my favorite cover of any book I've ever written. The second I saw this one, I knew that this was going to be the cover. We still did due diligence of developing a bunch of different covers, a dozen options, but deep down, this is the one I loved from the get-go. Three things stuck out to me. Number one, the thinker statue is such a perfect representation of overthinking. I spent years working on this project and never once considered that image. As soon as I saw it, I had that classic response when you bump into an idea that is so obvious in hindsight. Have you ever had that where you go, duh, of course that's the best plan. It's so obvious. Good ideas are so obvious. Number two, the addition of the headphones was clever but clear. I loved that. Mark Rice, the marketing director at Baker Publishing, who's publishing the book, taught me that you want your cover to be clever and clear. But if it only be one, pick clear. That tiny detail of the headphones adds cleverness while at the same time nailing the goal of clarity. And reason number three that I love this cover is it's bright and positive. So often the message around overthinking is negative, but that's not what I'm teaching. I found a way to turn overthinking from a super problem into a superpower. I wanted a cover that jumped off the shelf with hope. Soundtracks comes out April 6th, but you can already pre-order it today. The link to do that is in the description. Now, there's going to be a ton of pre-order bonuses like I always do. And if you order today, I'll make sure I tell you how to make sure you get them when they're available. And bravo Baker Publishing and Faceout Studio for creating this cover. I put Faceout Studio's link in the description. If you ever need a cover for your next book, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. If you have any questions about the book, 
let me know in the comments below. Go ahead, hit me up. I can't wait for you to read this one. I really can. As always, thanks for watching my stuff. Please hit the bell, subscribe, and click that like button if you dug this video.